I'm the underdog in this fight. I win it, better skill set, stronger, a lot faster. And it's all about being smart in the ring. And I believe I'm, I'm the best and the smartest in the UK, period. Michael McKinson, I'm bringing fireworks and I'm bringing the heat. So make sure you're ready. The Congo McKinson story is we sparred three years ago. Only the one spar. He didn't come back after that. Um, then he was on his way. He was fighting for the WBO title. At the time, I was trying to get fights and I wanted to fight him. But um, his manager wasn't interested. He wasn't interested. He was talking about going up in the, in the rankings to fight the better guys and maybe even in a couple fights later, getting, um, getting a shot at Terence Crawford. So that's what he was looking at. So we left him, but now um, I, got a big, I got a big platform and I got the title now. He's got no more titles and he's looking for the opportunity. So he's coming to me. So I'm, I'm a lot aware now that he's here, but at the same time, my, my focus is still the, still the same, getting to the top and um, trying to get rid of McKinson. I'm looking to bring whatever he wants to bring, I'll bring the same, you know? So it's more, it's more about focusing on myself in this fight, not focusing on him. I know I've done my work. I've been sparring top, top fighters, a, a, a guy that's going on to become undisputed champion of the world. So I can't get any better preparation than that. So I'm fully ready and fully focused. Perfect. Can I jump in and give a couple of questions to go? Because I need to catch my Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. Yeah, that's my concern, I'm not. See when, you, see, when you go forward, and then put, especially like, uh, when I'm on the ropes and that, mm -hmm. like sometimes you maybe just fucking go, man. Like, go, because when you go, you go. And it's hard, to, it's hard to defend against you when you go. Do you know what I mean? Aye, uh, fucking sharp. Me and Chris have uh, sparred for a number of years together now. We've, we've sparred for a good, I don't know, four or five years together. We've done probably over a thousand rounds together. So for me, um, Chris, Chris makes me concentrate all the time. You know, he, know, he knows me inside out, and I know I know him pretty well as well. You know, I know what he does and what his sort of rhythm and timing, and he knows mine as well. So we both know each other pretty well, and he knows when I'm switching off and stuff to, to, to keep on me and keep me switched on and alert. So it brings out the best in me, I need to keep switched on. And I think I need, I, I bring that out in him as well. He needs to keep switched on with me as well. So it's a, it's good competitive sparring. His skill level was unbelievable. Um, his variation, uh, his skills, the way he can adapt for different styles, he can go in the front foot, back foot, he can be slick and he can fight as well. So a bit of everything, you know, he's definitely, he's definitely up there in the best in the division. Um, in the country, I believe, you know, he's been overlooked um, a little bit in the past. You know, he's, he's came up under the radar, um, which I quite like because that's my kind of style. And now people are taking notice of him over his last couple of fights. To, to be able to spot a world champion before I go into a British level fight is wicked. It's gonna, it's gonna up my game, and it has. I've been able to feel it. I've seen it, you know, feel a lot better, feel a lot sharper, and I'm a lot switched on now, you know? And uh, sparring with Josh has is, is been a great experience. We've sparred over the years, and we always get the best out of each other, you know? So it's great. <laughs> I think Chris can definitely go to world titles, 100%. He, he can do it. He can do it all. He can do it all. He can fight. He can box. His defence is good. His head movement's good, and he's relaxed as well. He's relaxed under pressure. He's just he's, he's got the whole thing. So I believe, given the right opportunity, given the opportunity and the, and the chance to shine, he, he'll take it with both hands. Uh, a lot of people are mentioning me in the mix of uh, the likes of Conor Ben, Josh Kelly now. It's time to put my stamp on there. And like I said, I believe I am the best in the UK. I sum it up, it was good. Uh, one thing I did notice, there was a lot of stuff I didn't do in that fight, but um, 
we take the positives away. Uh, we take we, t we take the positives from that fight. Reason being, um, it had been a long time, and just remember, I come back 16 months, and I fought an uh, active and ready fighter. You know, I was fighting journeyman. I was trying to get fights with other guys, and they weren't interested. So um, when Lee for Claire accepted the fight, I was happy, but at the same time, um, I was I was on I was 50-50 about it, but. I just went for it straight and then I ended up knocking him out. Great spot, Josh. Appreciate it. Good man. That's all right. Thank you. Well boys. Josh, well done, mate. Brilliant, Josh. Well, if he's talking about all these other fighters, he's definitely overlooking, you know? He's talking about Conor Ben and all these guys. How can he talk about them? He hasn't even beat me yet and he's not going to beat me. Hell no. He's 19 and all. He's, um, Posted about beating all these unbeaten guys that were like 12 and 0, like me, maybe even some of them were 13, 14 and 0. So he's he's done well. He hasn't been under the radar. He said he's the most avoided and whatnot. He's been actively fighting. I haven't. When I was inactive, he was fighting. He was topping the MTK bills. He was. So I would rather be in his position than in the position that I was. But uh, uh, apart from that, I'm just ready to uh, get, the, get the fight going now. It's been some ups and downs. Thinking of leaving the sport because there was no fights for me. I, I couldn't get the fights, having a few issues. Uh, behind the scenes and it, it wasn't great but the main thing about it through all these years I just kept working regardless you know I didn't I didn't um, focus on anyone else the main focus was myself and just to keep working keep working and to see and just to wait on the opportunity and then now I signed with Dillian White and he's pushing me up there first fight I got a title now is my time up and I believe Right now is the worst time to fight me because I'm a lot hungrier, a lot stronger, and I just believe it's my time. And now I'm going up, no one is gonna beat me, 100%.